Uh, Dr. Timalsina, two questions come to mind. First, who or what is Ishvara in Kashmir Shaivism? Because if it is Shiva Shakti that through its own power is, is reducing itself to this Jiva that's experiencing the world, where is the role of Ishvara as we know in Advaita Vedanta? And second, what is then the role of grace? Who are you praying to uh, if, if, uh, if Ishvara? So explain this concept of, of Ishvara and grace within the Kashmir Shaivas system. So uh, Ishwara is a, a kind of technical category to, uh, there in Kashmiri Shaivism, and it can be confusing because at times we are using Ishwara for Parameshwara, the absolute Shiva, and uh, uh, but but the Ishwara in in the system is there is this absolute category of Shiva and then Abhinavabha, so never separable is Shakti. And then when there is some sense of difference, Veda Udaya, there is this slight rise of Ishan Unmesh, like a slightly different emerges, that is called Sadashiva. And there's this equal state of being outside and being inside. And then comes Ishwara as a lower category, below Shiva, Shakti, and Sadashiva. And there comes this Ishwara as a category, wherein there is this I amness that permeates the world, but he has that Ishwara as a category, has also the consciousness of idam, this as outside of me. So that is where this governing capacity of the will, Isitrita, comes. So, and and then, uh, so the, uh, and, and where does this grace come from? The grace comes from the same Shiva because it is it is not like at one time the grace comes and then other time grace does not come grace is constantly without being any temporal limitation grace is constantly coming there but then uh, that grace is not captured without uh, having some chitta suddhi if we say uh, in in other terminology like the proper purification to grasp to receive the grace of lord shiva so the grace of lord shiva is not temporal it's not finite it's infinite it's just like the sunlight constantly coming and sometimes we get the light other times we do not 